think we often have very fixed images of, of famous people from times when they were particularly famous. You know, if you, uh, if you think of Winston Churchill, you always think of him at a certain age with his cigar and so on. And it's the same with Ajahn Chah. You know, you, you think of Ajahn Chah and you think of an old man with a, with a walking stick and, and somebody says something or does something, he turns around, he smiles, he says something wise. And, and that's, that's Ajahn Chah in, in most people's um, in minds, isn't it? But of course, before he was that age, you know, he'd lived in the world for 60 more years, and very few people know about his his early life and his time as a young monk and the struggles and and challenges that he uh, went through before he became a great great teacher. So I thought it might be interesting to um, to talk about that and to uh, talk about his early life as a child, as a novice in the village monastery. Uh, as a young monk and um, learning the, the theoretical side of the Dhamma before leaving a village monastery and becoming a Tudong monk, walking off into the forest and looking for meditation teachers, meeting Ajahn Man in his own um, practice, his own meditation uh, experiences leading up to him finally taking taking on uh, a monastery himself in outside his home village in 1954 and then his experiences as a teacher and, and to give a kind of idea of, it, of his whole life and, and how um, a number of Westerners um, began to, uh, to go to Wat Pong, um, particularly after Ajahn Sumedho had made the first, uh, uh, was the first one to go there. And, and Ajahn Chah's trips to the West and to give a, a sort of overview of his whole life.